Oh, yes. So, well, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Oh. <laughs> You're <Let's> disappearing. <laughs> Comes and he goes. Yeah. So, <laughs> speaking of coming and going, uh, and I think Fred tasked us with uh, uh, finding out who our um, West, uh, who our um, regional um, marketing person is, and I, I connected with Cal and. Um, have been getting um, some really good updates. And, and meanwhile, um, Brian was uh, kicked off of Facebook and we don't even know why. And that's over a week ago. And so he, he's not even able to um, interact with anybody with there. The world anymore. And so were, were you um, successful in finding out who your uh, representative is? I haven't been, no. I admit. <laughs> Neither have I. I didn't know anything about it actually. Did I miss last week? Yeah, oh, yeah maybe. I yeah, Ernest, I don't yeah. remember. I don't. Maybe you weren't there. Um, there's, there's regionals. There's regions, and I think you're probably in the in the central region, um, Ernest. I'm, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, or if, I don't know if there's a central or a, a, a north central or something, but. Uh, check that out like who that person is and if you can't find them um make a phone call and and figure it out or ask some you know maybe there's some some active leaders in your area uh you know that uh, might be in in the same region that might have just posted something about uh, the uh different uh winners and some of the, the different like pop and rollers for the for the the calendar month okay i saw some of those posts um and we're in the pacific region and and the guy's name is cal and i i found him on um, instagram and facebook and connected uh and, and get it, it gets you a lot more um connected with some of the other um, information out there um, because they're not doing the emails as much anymore. And uh, they can provide marketing support and you might find out about events in your area too. Okay. And I think he might've said there was a, a Canadian one. Or he, I wasn't sure. I don't, I think they're broken up by, by country. I don't think that the the uh, the the groups cross borders, but I'm not sure. So um, you might want to check that out, Roger, to be able to um, connect with uh, a marketing person in your yeah, area. I, I will need to to do that. That's for sure. Uh, I would think in Canada we'd have someone at least east and west. Yeah, um, you know, and even you know, I mean, check with Phil Jacobson. You know. Yeah. He's probably close enough in your area. And if he's not in your group, he, he might be able to tell you. Or not, we actually, we were talking about that last week. Yeah. We were checked in with him. Or David Moses, uh, yeah. Aaron Hill. Um, I'm not sure who are who are the others in, in Canada that you might be connected with, but those those three for sure. Yeah. Well, Phil is only oh, a six hour drive from here. Okay. So that's not too bad. Um, David <laughs> Moses <clears throat> actually lives closer to London, England than he does to us. So no, but that, that the point is that if, they're, if they would know how to how, how to find out, you know, they're west and all of those questions that you might have. Yeah, so they can get you connected. And so, what else is going on? Uh, well. Uh, study as it goes with me, nothing super exciting, just kind of working on a couple of people that committed to going distributorship with me, so I'm excited about that. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And to, mm -hmm. do, you, um, do you have somebody connected on a, a three-way call um, with them or? Not yet. Not yet. And she's actually... That's, and that's the thing is she's been I've been trying to get her to do that forever, but she wants to commit first and then uh, do, you know, do the three way. Okay. Yeah. And another thing that you might want to try and mm -hmm. um, be happy to do it um, with you is uh, 
just do a, a three-way chat if she's more comfortable communicating yeah. uh, in text we could do it on facebook through messenger or any of the apps sure that, you know so that you know that's an idea or somebody else you know could possibly be available to do that right okay yeah what is her yeah. profession what does she do she is actually she's not doing anything now she she got hurt on at her job oh. and she's been getting um disability okay and the reason she wanted to wait until september is because she's telling us she'll be qualified to transition over from disability to full social security oh. and then she can make as much money as she wants yeah without so that's her story for, for doing that. Yeah, but it, it's it's not too soon to get started because by the time she starts making some money, it I will know. Roll, roll in after September. So exactly, and I I, I tell her that, but yeah. she's like, no, I'm gonna wait. I don't want to, you yeah. know. And yeah. it, so it sounds like she's um a little bit older, you know. Yeah, yeah, and it's she's been the using the product. Love the product. Um, brought, has a couple of people that's using the product. Uh, so yeah, it's just a, a matter of time. I'm, I'm thinking for sure next month she'll turn on. Okay. And you know, and if she wanted to talk to, um, you, you know, even Pat Anderson would probably, um, make herself available for a three-way call. Oh yeah. Yeah. I've done several uh, three ways with Pat. Yeah, and yeah. You, know, you can just schedule those online. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah, anything else? Uh, learning, did you find another tool or anything exciting? Um, well, no, I've just been, actually, uh, since uh, last week, uh, I've been uh, kind of really inundated with work at Bloomingdale's mm -hmm. because we're getting into the season now. So, um, and outside of that, though, at, and when I get home, usually I, I try to do some type of reading. Um, uh, I've been reading uh, all kinds of stuff and just kind of, you know, personal growth, working on that to, to, uh, be the person that I'm looking for, actually. <laughs> well, you know, that's a that's a perfect way to um, describe it. I mean, because they even talk about uh, in terms of even if you're looking for a, a personal relationship, you know, I was I was talking to um, one of my best friends and she uh, is a twin and mm -hmm. and her, her and her sister couldn't be more opposite. And she she's longing for a, a more intimate relationship with her sister and so instead of expecting her sister to comply to her concept and ideas i told her that just be the sister you wish your sister was and hopefully that she'll emulate that and and mm -hmm. you'll raise her up and you'll have that that type of relationship so it, it works that way you know in personal um relationships right well as you know, twin, she's a twin she is a twin uh, identical um uh, you know i don't think they're identical Not identical but just twins yeah yeah I, there are several twins in my family and i've found that twins are they are completely different people. Yeah. She's, um, yeah. But they, brothers that are twins. Uh, my brothers are twins. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. My brothers, yeah. And one's one's more usually one's an introvert and one's an extrovert. Yeah, and and they were identical when they started, but they don't look too much alike anymore. They've grown into these perceptions of themselves that are far different than each other. Interesting. Hi, Robin. Hi everybody. Hi Robin. Hi, Robin. Hello. Yeah. yeah. We uh we were talking about uh getting to, to know who our um regional representative is for isogenics. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Do you are you do you know who yours is, Robin, and have you connected with them? No, I thought it was macogenics, but I guess it's more diverse than that. 
Right. You know, Mac is um, like over the, the whole area, but then it breaks it down by region. Mm -hmm. uh, so we would in in the West, we uh, we have uh, Cal. Uh, Kalam Lam Lama Pori or something. I had to remember his last name. I don't have it in front of me to be, be able to attempt to uh, say it. But uh, there, sh there should be somebody uh, in your area. Uh, I don't know if you and, and Ernest might be in the same, you know, you know from, from Cleveland to Chicago. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's in the same region or not. Um, but I think there's like five of them in the United States. So okay. hmm. I'll find out who it is. I'm sorry I didn't do that this week. That's all right. And just connect with them because there's a lot of good information that, that they might be posting events that are in your area mm -hmm. with, you know, maybe younger leaders or, you know, something like that, that maybe um, would be beneficial for you to, you know, grab a prospect and go to or and uh different things like that so um mm -hmm. right you can you can find that out and then we were we we're talking about uh personal development and how Ernest, Ernest said the key phrase of uh like be the be the person on that that i want to attract and so that's where were, i was telling the the example of uh talked to one of my best friends who happens to be a twin but she wanted a better relationship with her sister and I said well have you ever considered being that sister you wished you already had and so that is an example um, not only in business you know for our businesses being able to find those new and attract those new people but also in personal relationships whether it's you know siblings or cousins or friends or it's like a route to um anti um what is it i don't know what you're thinking yeah <laughs> I have a second ago. oh well oh anti-mag uh, anti-repulsion oh okay you know, so the, like yeah. 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 because the app the opposite of uh, attraction is repulsion mm. Okay. Let's uh, bring more to ourselves through repulsion than we do from attraction. But we, don't, we don't really realize that what we are are resisting or or repulsing is we're actually attracting. So that's a good point. Yeah. Most, most of what uh, is for for most people, their lives are created out of what they've got going in their subconscious uh, portions. Hmm. That that uh, run them, run their decision making, their emotions, and 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 you know perplexed in the in the opposites. And that's why the personal development is is so important because as you can get to know yourself better and also work on um, reasoning capabilities and logic and and correct you know reasoning. Um, it helps you make decisions in all areas of your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, in higher rather, faculties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, rather than in, rather than just being run by your emotions and you don't even know that they're running you. You know, right. use yeah. logic mm -hmm. to to overcome them. Mm -hmm. yeah, it almost Very sounds cool. like you've been following Bob Proctor. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhat, actually. actually Bob Proctor studied uh, uh, originally at the institute that we studied in over yeah, the past. And the, he he years, got a lot of his information from Dr. Thurman Fleet and concept therapy, and so we we we've actually been studying concept therapy uh, pretty intensely for the past uh, several years, and uh, it's really it's really made a difference and. And just yeah. in knowing, you know, and having the knowledge that can that can lead to understanding and even wisdom. You know, most of us, the way we get our knowledge is we just get this stuff we call knowledge, but it it, <laughs> it isn't put to any if it isn't put to any practical use, it, it doesn't become experience or understanding. There's a big difference. So, oh yes, <laughs> you won't get to wisdom without an understanding. 
What's the key to putting it to action? The, well, the, several things. The, the, the spirit it, within is what moves us. But taking steps. So, like, if you're if you're wanting to attract uh, new business, then obviously um, you have to take the action steps and and call people uh, or reach out to them, connect with them. Uh, meet them in person. However, you're going to do it. You're, you, you need to be able to talk to a number of people um, to be able to bring people into your business. You can't just say, well, I want that, but never do anything about it. As, 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 to be blunt, you know, as an example, but, mm-hmm. um, it, it, you know, and it just can decide be, to do it. Yeah. And just, you know, it, it developed the, the discipline um, to do it. But you know, you need to have an idea or an image behind it because as long yeah. as the, the, it's the quality of that image, that idea, it's like if you build a house, the first thing that you do is you have a, a, an architect uh, you know, draw out exactly what your image of the house is and what you want and everything about it, all the details. And then you have a contractor you know, bid the production and, and, and build it. Or, and bring it to or, fruition. And bring it to fruition. Yeah. Well, it, the everything in a in a in a walnut seed for that tree is contained within that seed. The entire image, okay, of and the oak tree, that of acorn. the oak tree, in, right <laughs> in the acorn. It's already there in the acorn, and, okay, and the it just you know comes up. It's subject to the environment at that point as it you know starts to grow, mm-hmm. but its original design and capabilities are in there, just like they are in us. And just because we've taken in all of this stuff from our parents and, and, and authorities and teachers, and teachers and any- not so much logically. See, the, the, we, we could, the, part of the reasonability that we have consciously is the ability to think um, both um, uh, uh, inductively and deductively. There are two parts of, of, of logic and so forth. But the subconscious only deals deductively. And so uh, if, if you know the types of, of, of uh, you know, how those diametrically different uh, reasoning processes work, then you understand what happens when, when your life gets called out as a result of the deductive method or whatever ideas that you put down there in the subconscious the subconscious doesn't have that ability to induct or to reason anything out for itself. It only takes orders. And these are the orders that we give it. What we have plugged down there in our subconscious become the orders that are given to it. And then it just manifests deductively based upon mostly the fallacies that we were unfortunately put in there unless we've been able to you know, strip ourselves of them. Yeah, like- Remove well, our limitations. Well, as an example, uh, you know, there was a, a, like a, a, a late teacher. Um, he um, wanted a new house. And so he imaged the an entire house. He had the kitchen all laid out and everything. And one day in his current house, he was walking through the garage and he tripped over some tools or something. And he just said, he said, I never want to have a garage again. <laughs> and so when he's going through the image process of his of his next house the one that comes up doesn't have a garage <laughs> it had everything that he wanted except the garage because he had already pushed it away he said he never wanted a garage again and so we, the we subconscious took that how, order and carried it out exactly how important what our innermost thoughts and our self-talk cycle is doing to the the forces of attraction in our lives. Exactly. Yeah, I, I, I agree everything that you all are saying. And I, I found that it's true uh, that, you know, most people don't think. And when you think, and Robin, you mentioned what's the, the, the uh, segue into actually making all that happen. And Brian mentioned the subconscious. Um, and it kind of correlates with what we do even in this business in terms of daily methods of operation and what is your why, you know, make your why 
um, you know, some one philosopher said if your why doesn't make you cry, it's not big enough. Exactly. So therefore you have to get emotionally involved with it and, and your daily methods of activity and all those things start to create what you really want. Those and that's the, the momentum, yeah. That yes. Others, you know, see you and uh, basically, unfortunately, judge you on in terms of how, you know, impressive you are or whatever. Do they want to get into business with you if they're really considering the business part of it? And, you know, a number of things, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're all kind of qualifying mm -hmm. based upon, but many of us, unfortunately, if we've got a lot of fallacy operating subconsciously, that that's what we're going to manifest. And they, we could have people that are really interested in what we do. We bring them in and they just want to do it their way. And they've got all this crazy stuff and drama going on and, and spend a lot of time, you know, with people that, that are never, never have the framework subconsciously to want to be productive. So do you think we went deep enough tonight? <laughs> that was pretty deep. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. yeah. So like, as does anybody else, uh, you know, want to uh, add anything to the conversation or, or just start another one? Um, is there anything that we need to discuss before we hop off of here? It looks like everybody's good. That was good food for thought. Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Oh, I don't know. Did you just look at the clock and think that we need to keep going, or what were you doing? I, you're switched. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I think you know, you know, it. It's just the four of us. If if we're if we're done, we're done. You know, it's all it's all good. I don't think we have to uh, prolong it. Sounds good. Let's let's all try to bring somebody with us next week. That sounds, that sounds great. great. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thanks. Have a great Have an week. Awesome week. All right, guys. Thanks. You too. Thank you. Thank you for the, the effort here of doing this. Take care, everyone. Okay. Good All night. right. Bye. All right. You too. Thanks. Good night.